Hi friends! Today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of September. As always, a little bit of explanation to get us started. The TBR takedown is a game that I've been playing trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a really high number down to something more manageable, probably around 50. Starting off in September, I started with 129 books on my physical unread TBR. I've been hanging out at 129 for a while been a little higher than that then came back down. It's been a fun time. As always we will go over the books that I purchased and then quickly go over the books that I read and I'll direct you to my wrap up for more thoughts on those and then we'll talk about DNFs slash unhauls and then we'll be done for the day. Uh, today's gonna be a pretty short one because I only hauled two books this month. The first is A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This is the Alcrate edition. It's very pretty. I do not know a lot of what this one is about. I'm going into this one mostly blind out of preference. I know that it involves a sapphic romance. I know that the main character's girlfriend had died previously and it takes place at a boarding school and there's like a rumor of witches haunting one of the boarding houses there. That's pretty much all I know and that's all I really wanted to know. Very excited to get to this one hopefully this month the month of October. Uh, but we'll see. And the other book that I picked up was This Coven Won't Break by Isabel Sterling. This is the second book in the series. The first book is These Witches Won't Burn. Um, I actually pre-ordered the paperback copy because I have the paperback copy of the first book and I wanted them to match. The first book in the series revolves around our main character Hannah and her best friend, her ex-girlfriend, and a new crush. Hannah and her ex-girlfriend are both similar types of witches. The new crush is a different kind of witch. Her best friend is human who doesn't know that they're witches. There's a whole bunch of things going on with that. The thing I love most about this book series is just the way that witchcraft and magic is handled in that there is both what we consider in our real world um, like Wiccan witchcraft and there's also magical witchcraft and they're two separate things and some people know that the magical witchcraft is there and some don't um, and just kind of they blend together in that aspect of it. I really enjoyed this series so I picked up second book. And quickly we'll go over the books that I read this month. The things she's seen. I didn't write down the first names. It's by two people. The last name's Koi Molina. The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. All the Impossible Things by Lindsay Lackey. People We Made on Vacation by Emily Henry. The Girl from the Well by Ren Chupeco. Hold Out by Jeffrey Kluger. And The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. I did DNF five books this month but they don't actually count as coming off of my TBR because I didn't own copies of any of them. Uh, Lazaretto, The Curiosities, Parable of the Sower, The Thursday Murder Club, and Spoiler Alert. All of those were DNFs this month. Um, again if you want to know more of like why I DNFed those or more about them in general you can check out the wrap up. Basically what happened this month was I read one book that came off of my TBR and I hauled one book that went on to my TBR and so basically I just ended up continuing to be at 129, uh, which means I went nowhere. My original goal for this year was to be under 100, which means I have to read 29 books this year without purchasing any more books. Is that going to happen? Probably not, but your girl's gonna try. I'm, I'm still, we're in October now. I'm trying 31 books in October. I'm doing pretty good so far, so I don't know but it's also not looking great, but I don't know. Um, today's just a pretty short, sweet update. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've read any of the books we talked about today or if you're doing any version of the TBR takedown, I would love to check it out because this is one of my favorite videos to film and I know one of your favorites to watch, although this month was pretty, it was just a, yeah. This month wasn't great. Next month should be awesome though. I'm looking forward to that. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!